so our next topic is time domain representation of am and for that we are considering the single expression of am for single tone sinusoidal modulating signal so thus for expression of am for single tone is ac1 plus ma cos omega mt cos omega ct and envelope of this am signal is suppose e and it is equal to ac1 plus ma cos omega mt okay as you can see that uh, this is a cos omega ct so for this cos omega ct the amplitude is ac1 plus k mt or ac1 plus ma cos omega mt so this cos will have positive amplitude and negative amplitude it means that the envelope will also be positive and negative okay so when we draw the time domain waveform we will get the positive envelope and negative envelope both now the value of envelope is ac1 plus ma cos omega mt for single tone modulating signal what will be the maximum value of this envelope so if the cos is maximum then we get the maximum value of envelope because it depends on only the cos term this is constant this is constant so the maximum value of envelope will depend on the maximum value of cos and the maximum value of cosine will be plus 1 so that's why we get the maximum value of envelope equal to 1 plus ma this is the maximum value of envelope 1 plus ma and what will be the minimum value of envelope so the minimum value of envelope is ac 1 minus ma when the cosine will be its negative maximum which is minus 1 so we get these two equation suppose this is equation number 1 and 2 and if i add these two equation i'll get if i add these two equation e max plus e min equal to we get ac 1 plus ma plus ac 1 minus ma and ac equal to ac this ac ac ma positive and ac ma with negative sign will cancel each other and we get two times ac is equal to e max plus e min or you can say the carrier amplitude is e max plus e min divided by 2 so the carrier amplitude can also be calculated from the maximum and minimum value of envelope so we can see that here the average value of maximum and minimum value of envelope is amplitude of carrier now if i divide these two equation e max divided by e min dividing equation 1 by 2 e max by e min we get ac 1 plus ma divided by ac 1 minus ma so this ac and ac will get cancel and we get e max divided by e min equal to 1 plus ma divided by 1 minus ma and applying component to dividend to we get e max minus e min divided by e max plus e min equal to 1 plus ma minus 1 minus ma divided by 1 plus ma plus 1 minus ma and upon solving this we get 1 minus 1 which is cancel and ma and minus of minus ma which is 2 ma so from here we get another equation of modulation index which is ma equal to e max minus e min divided by e max plus e min so we can calculate modulation index from the maximum and minimum value of envelope which is e max minus e min divided by e max plus e min it is a, again a important formula uh, the question has been asked from this particular formula for one mark so 
after solving we are getting this equation. So, we are having now three type of uh, uh, equation for modulation index. First equation modulation index is k into maximum value of mt or k into am for single tone. Another equation if k is not given am upon ac and third equation this one. So, this is also for the sinusoidal signal or when we have the maximum value of envelope and minimum value of envelope then we can apply this formula. Now, in this particular topic we are going to see the time domain representation. So, the time domain representation of AM that means the representation of this or we can say the time domain waveform of this AM signal. How it will look like when you see the AM signal into CRO then how it will look that is we are drawing for three different case. First one is case 1 when the modulation index is considered as less than 1 and it is also known as under modulation. So, so when you apply the message signal, uh, sinusoidal signal and the carrier signal which is again a sinusoidal signal in CRO then we get the waveform like So, if we have the block amplitude modulator as we discussed in the last lecture, we have message signal MT and we have carrier signal AC cos omega CT and we get the signal S of T which is S of T is equal to AC 1 plus k m t cos omega c t right. If there is no message signal suppose in this block if there is no message signal that means m t is 0 and if m t is 0 then this expression is if m t is 0 then this expression will be a c cos omega c t. It means that we will get some signal it will not like that the output is also 0 we are getting some signal which is AC cos omega CT. So, this left hand side is showing that we are getting signal AC cos omega CT. So, this is the signal which we are getting plus minus AC and this is called unmodulated carrier. This left hand side is called unmodulated carrier when t less than 0. When there is no message signal, we get some signal and it is called unmodulated carrier because we are getting the actual carrier as it is. But the definition of modulation uh, is nothing but when the amplitude of carrier signal varies in accordance with the message signal. So, the amplitude is constant, this is plus minus AC, it is not varying, that is why it is unmodulated. Now, 
at time t equal to 0 we are applying message signal to represent the waveform in time domain first of all we draw the shape of message signal so if we are applying the message signal as cosine wave then we are drawing this cosine wave first and because I have told you that we get the positive and negative value of envelope so we are getting the positive value of envelope then we are also getting the negative value of envelope. Now, as at time t equal to 0 when message signal will be the input to this amplitude modulator the amplitude of carrier signal is varying start varying. So, the amplitude was AC and at time t equal to 0 you applied message signal and the now amplitude become AC from AC to another value. So, it is some other value which is AC 1 plus MA because this is the maximum value and the maximum value we have calculated from equation number 1 that, that is AC 1 plus MA the maximum value because in this diagram we have seen that we can see the maximum value of this signal is approaching to this value. So, this is AC 1 plus MA. Now, at time t greater than 0 this signal is changing the carrier signal is changing its amplitude the amplitude was previously AC now it has become AC 1 plus MA at t equal to 0 and when t greater than 0 the value of carrier amplitude is varying from AC 1 plus MA and it is decreasing continuously as the message signal amplitude is decreasing it is also decreasing. So, it will be like this it will be continuously changing. So, this is called modulated carrier this one is called modulated carrier. Now, we can also draw its trapezoidal pattern and this trapezoidal pattern can be drawn from the maximum and minimum value of envelope. So, this is the maximum value of envelope we are joining these two maximum value of envelope which is AC 1 plus MA and what is the minimum value of envelope as you can see that when we connect the peak value of this AM signal we are getting the shape like sinusoidal signal which is our message signal and this value is going to be the minimum at this point in the positive side. So, this minimum value this minimum value is AC 1 minus MA because the minimum value of envelope is AC 1 minus MA. Similarly, this minimum value is minus of AC 1 minus MA and this maximum value is minus of AC 1 plus MA. and this is your minus AC. Now, if we connect the peak value of envelope from positive and negative side and peak value of envelope in the negative positive and negative side minimum value of envelope and we connect these two we get a shape like trapezoidal. So, this is known as trapezoidal pattern. So, if you go to the lab and you apply the message and carrier signal to the CRO you will see the amplitude in the um, input of amplitude modulator then you will see that this is the output of AM signal the time in time domain it will look like this only this part will you will cannot see because uh, this is our unmodulated carrier when the message signal is not applied. But if you apply message signal you will get this type of signal which is a blue signal and there is no signal present in this part this the black line will you cannot see. But on paper we will draw this black line because it shows our message signal because we have assumed our message signal as 
we have assumed our message signal as cosine wave that's why after connecting the peak value of modulated carrier we are getting the cosine wave so when i connect this peak value of envelope i am getting cosine wave it shows that envelope has message signal and this is the case when the modulation index is less than 1 and this is known as trapezoidal pattern which we are getting by connecting the positive maximum envelope and minimum envelope positive maximum envelope and minimum envelope and negative minimum envelope and negative maximum envelope this is the broader dimension of this trapezoidal which we are denoting as l1 and this is the shorter side of trapezoidal which is denoted by l2 and the modulation index in terms of the side of the trapezoidal is given by l1 minus l2 divided by l1 plus l2 this is the value of modulation index in terms of sides of trapezoidal so you can calculate the modulation index from this formula also so this is the time domain waveform for the first case when ma is less than 1 ma is less than 1 that means modulation index you can consider suppose if ma is 0.7 then this 0.7 so maximum value of envelope from this equation is ac 1 plus 0 0.7 and we get ac 1 minus 0 0.7 it means that we get 0 0.3 ac and we get 1.7 ac so th this 0 0.3 ac is some positive value because the amplitude of carrier is positive and if the amplitude of carrier is positive then we get some positive value that's why this minimum value this minimum value is not crossing this zero line because it should have some positive value and which is in present case is equal to 0 0.3 ac so if i consider ma equal to 0 0.7 then this value is 0 0.3 times ac and this value is 1.7 ac so this is the positive value and that's why we have drawn this minimum envelope above the origin above the zero but as i increase the value of ma suppose if i increase the value of ma to 1 from 0 0.7 if i increase it to 1 that is 1 minus 1 which will be zero so this minimum value of envelope will touch the zero line will touch this zero line and this value is also 1 minus 1 is also 0 so this negative part of envelope will also touch this zero line so we will draw the next diagram for ma equal to 1 so next is case 2 when ma is exactly equal to 1 so when ma is 1 we can see that this will be 1 plus 1 which is 2 2 times ac so the maximum value of envelope will be 2 ac and the minimum value of envelope will be 0 So the maximum value of envelope is 2 AC, somewhere here it is AC and it is 0, it is minus AC and it is minus 2 AC. And this is the modulated waveform. So our signal will look like this if you consider the modulation index equal to 1. So again we have to consider uh, the positive maximum and minimum value of envelope and draw the trapezoidal pattern. So this is the maximum value of envelope, this is the minimum value of envelope. So minimum value is this one. So connecting these two point maximum and minimum value and similarly at the negative side this is the maximum value in negative side and this is the minimum value so we get like this so if you are getting the triangular shape then it means that the modulation index is equal to 1 
So if you find somewhere in the trapezoidal pattern triangular signal that means the modulation index of AM signal is considered as 1. So this is the second case when MA is equal to 1. Now we have to take the third case when MA is greater than 1. This case is known as overmodulation. When MA is greater than 1, then it is called overmodulated signal. And in this case, in overmodulated signal, that means MA is greater than 1. If you take any value which is greater than 1, suppose uh, 1.2, then you get. 1.2 plus 1 is 2.2 AC and this is 1.2 so 1 minus 1.2 is minus 0.2 AC. So this will be the minus 0.2 AC if you take MA is equal to 1.2 then you will get 0.2 AC. Here you will get 2.2 AC when MA is 1.2 greater than 1 any value greater than 1. So suppose we are taking 1.2 then it is in the negative side. So, the minimum value of envelope is in the negative side. So, minimum value of envelope is in the negative side. So, first of all we will draw the envelope like this and it will go into the negative side and it will go into the positive side. So, negative side will be in the positive side and the positive side will be in the negative side. So, we are getting 2.2 AC and this is 0 minus 0 point uh, minus 2.2 AC somewhere here will be AC and this is your minus 0 0.8 AC and this is 0 0.8 AC and we get the modulated waveform like this. The importance of this over modulated waveform is whenever the zero crossing occurs when the envelope crosses the zero axis we get the phase reversal. So, as you can see that at this point this envelope is going from positive to negative. So, at this point we get the phase reversal, phase reversal it means there is a 180 degree phase shift, so, 180 degree phase shift means that the positive value will be the negative and the negative value will be positive. So, the waveform is going like this, so it should go up to the positive value, it should go to the positive value. but it will be negative because at this particular stage it is crossing the zero value and we get 180 degree phase shift phase reversal effect like here here again it is going from the positive to negative or you can say that this is positive to negative or negative to positive so envelope is crossing this zero value so this value should be negative but here because of the 180 degree phase shift we get positive value like this. So, at this point and at this point you can see phase reversal effect. So, in over modulation we get phase reversal effect and again if I draw the trapezoidal pattern. So, this is the positive envelope 2.2 AC, this is the positive envelope minimum value of positive envelope which is now negative. So, this is the negative one, so we get this, this is the maximum value, this is the minimum value and we connect these two. Similarly, here it is minimum and it is maximum here, so we will connect this and we get shape like this. So, here we cannot apply the formula of L1 minus L2 and L1 plus L2. This is the trapezoidal pattern. But it is not looking like trapezoidal because of over modulated waveform. Okay. So, this is the S of T time domain representation of AM in three different case. We have not drawn the value of mod unmodulated carrier because we have understood that 
if we apply the carrier signal only and if the message signal will be zero there will be some output which is known as unmodulated carrier which is only the carrier part which is oscillating in between plus minus ec but when you apply the message signal it modulates the carrier signal message signal modulates the carrier signal and the carrier amplitude changing according to the message signal so the carrier amplitude is changing according to the message signal this is our message signal so the amplitude is also varying according to our message signal in the positive side and negative side negative side we get because of this cosine term negative envelope we get because of this cosine term because this cosine will have some positive amplitude and negative amplitude and this is the positive amplitude and if we consider the negative amplitude then we get envelope if we consider the negative amplitude of this cosine then we get envelope like this and this and this and that's why we have drawn the negative part of envelope negative part of envelope here also and in the all these three cases so in this way we have we can draw or we can see the representation of time domain waveform of am next we will discuss the frequency domain representation of am